everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, this is going to be the melee weapon only challenge in Left 4 Dead 2. This was actually requested by one of you guys. This was on my last challenge video, and this was requested by my subscriber Bray the Boss 360YT. Thank you, Bray. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for leaving this challenge down below in my comments, and I am more than happy to do this here today. However, my friend, I am going to have a little bit of a twist on this, because instead of just doing a melee weapon only challenge, I thought that would also end up adding in some melee weapon mods, just to make it a little bit more fun. So the melee weapons right now in my session are going to end up having a whole bunch of different custom skins and also some sound effects, so that way when we're running around and we're trying to end up picking up some melee weapons, some of them will be a lot more fun than they would normally be. I kind of did this when I did the pistol only challenge back in the day. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, as always, please share your support by dropping a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff. I tremendously would appreciate it. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving, regardless if you celebrate or not. I hope you guys just then had a grateful Thursday. But yeah, guys, I'm really looking forward to this. And let's play the Left 4 Dead 2 melee only weapon champ. And see, the funny thing is that you guys haven't seen it yet in the video, but if I can come across this melee weapon, I'm going to be super excited because there's one melee weapon in particular that I'm just really... I know it's not my dick, although that'd be funny. All right, so here we go. We got our first one. This one is actually a melee weapon that turns my crowbar into a leak. <laughs> or, or as Patrick would say from Spongebob, where's the leak, ma'am? The weird part is that it, like, moves and flops in the wind. That's what she said! <laughs> I also have a bonk sound effect for all the melee weapons. Bonk. 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 I love how that in this game you can just beat zombies to death with a leak. By the way, guys, I don't know if you knew this, uh, but I actually ended up recently on my live stream I had a whole bunch of new features to my software for my recording and streaming, and I actually end up having it where now my face cam has got better color correction, it doesn't have autofocus anymore, and the gamma and the contrast is actually, like, tuned in uh, to my room settings a little bit better, so that way the lights don't get picked up and it kind of, like, blur out my face. I also have a filter on my microphone now, three of them actually, make it so that way white noise is kind of like muted and there's a max volume threshold so I can't destroy your guys' eardrums. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the quality in the comment section down below. I'm curious if you guys noticed and if so, what you think. Oh, there's a fat guy. No! Yo, you really need to eat your vegetables. No, Jockey, why? Oh, that is just unfortunate. Oh, oh my, oh my god, what the, oh no. Oh, how am I gonna get out of this one? Um... I'm gonna have to strafe to the right, or I'll just fade through the wall like I'm a magician. By the way, guys, if there is a particular challenge that you guys want to see next time, please let me know and put it down below in the comments. Bray, I don't know if you actually got a second challenge in mind, but uh, if anybody else wants to end up adding in a comment, please let me know. Alright, I gotta ignore that SMG because of the fact that uh, I can only end up using melee weapons. I was originally thinking about making a run for it, but I realized that in hindsight that probably wouldn't be the best idea. Probably what I want to do is if I can keep the zombies away from me, that'd be best, so I'm probably gonna throw a pipe bomb right into the fire over here, and then me and Nick will stay back here in the elevator. My question is that, just what's gonna end up happening when I run into a tank as well? Because you can melee a tank, but, uh, I haven't done it in a long time. I just really don't think the tank's gonna be mildly intimidated in the slightest when I uh, show him a leak in my hand. This is not, not the most popular or menacing of vegetables. Now see, the really the intimidating one is zucchini. Zucchini is good for you, it makes you have a bigger weenie. By the way, guys, in addition to the challenge, even though this is not necessarily themed after the video, but I thank you guys also so much for the uh, support on the God of War live stream. Because for those of you guys that don't know, I'm playing God of War as my next walkthrough game. The first episode actually should be live today alongside this video. So if you guys have not seen that yet, go check it out at the end of the video here. But uh, yeah, guys, I want to say, just once again, I'm just super thankful. Thank you. Because, you know, it is the day after Thanksgiving after all, so it is the time to be thankful. But, uh... Yeah, God of War, dude, it's such a fun game. The first fight scene, oh my god, that's ridiculous. It was like some anime level over the top crap. And like, there was like, it was so ridiculous that like, I got in like to my inner 12 year old back when I used to watch the cartoons. I felt like that I was watching Dragon Ball Z in form in before my very eyes. What are you even looking for? Oh, I'm going rage mode now. Oh, you really pissed him off. <laughs> This is called the rage mode, literally! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, can I put some frag rounds on my, my uh, leak, ma'am? You know what, guys? Let's end up playing a little bit of a game, shall we? So, I have a leak in my hand, right? This is really not the most intimidating of melee weapons. Let's play a game. In your guys' vicinity, no matter where you are, 
whatever is the very closest thing to your left, that is the melee weapon that you have to survive in the zombie apocalypse. On a scale of 1 to 10, how screwed are you? Oh yeah, here it is. This is another one of my melee weapons. So this is the baseball bat, and it's, it's a keyboard, which funnily enough I could actually use. I could just use my legitimate keyboard right now and just crack this over some zombies' heads. Bonk. By the way, I'm actually really glad that Thanksgiving's officially over, because now we can celebrate Christmas properly, like normal people, and not listen to it in October. Oh, god damn it. Uh, Ellis, I really think that that's one of your weirdest lines to describe the Charger. <laughs> like, I never thought that, like, Ellis would, like, describe a Charger like that when I first initially heard it. And still even weird. Like, is the Charger doing something that I can't see? At this point, you might as well just be like, THE CHARGER'S DIDDLING ME! You know, fun fact, by the way, when I say that, like, I'm a loud person, I really do mean it. There was one time back when I was a, a kid, when I was taking karate classes, we would end up doing this thing called, like, a key-up, which is basically just a glorified, like, battle cry. And there was one time that me and a whole bunch of other kids had a contest to see who had the best key up, which is basically the best scream. And I'm not even kidding you, I won that thing by a landslide. I literally won a contest back when I was younger for screaming. <laughs> that means that I could blow your eardrums at any moment, and I'm just waiting for the right moment to strike. I'll stick myself with an adrenaline shot, I'm just gonna keep her going. Keep her going. Oh no! I am so lucky that that wasn't an insta-death. But I don't know if they can save me. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn it, man! Hey, there it is! Let's go! I got the combat knife! And take a look, it's a rubber chicken! I love it! It does the squeak, yeah! Oh, now it's go time! On yard, I have a rubber chicken, bitches! Come at me, zombies! I'm beating you with my rubber cock! Hold up! Wait a minute! I wish that this thing could be, like, the really loud version. Now, I'm trying to imagine if anybody would actually use this thing as a real-life melee weapon if they were truly desperate. <laughs> like, if, if I was looking for something and, like, this is the only thing I had, at least it's better than nothing. I mean, if anything, what I could do is I could make it, like, a glorified pipe bomb. Alright, let's do this, guys. One man. Four survivors, a rubber chicken, against all odds, will they escape the zombie apocalypse? Tune in next week on. You know, I think I'm gonna give this chicken a name. I'm gonna probably call him Carl the Chicken. All right, Carl, do you think that we're gonna escape this alive, my friend? Do you think that we're gonna be able to escape dead center? Nice, I agree. Yo, guys, can we please get a hashtag Carl the Chicken in the chat, please? You know, I also realized that technically we have had zero tanks up until the finale here. I mean, we're basically gonna get only one just now. I think this is the longest I've gone on a map without getting a tank in, like, a long time. Now, if I could try to get the tank over here and Molotov him, that would be the best case scenario, because then I don't have to worry about sacrificing my gas cans. Die, die, die. Alright, cool. Got him. Almost there. I'm just gonna stick myself with an adrenaline shot, and I think I basically have got this. Alright, let's see. Ready? We already got the one, so... Alright, two... Three... Yeah, this is it. Four... Five... Six... Seven... One more... Eight... Here we go! And we are out of here! Let's go! Perfect! And we only did that with a rubber damn chicken. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so that was the melee weapon only challenge in Left 4 Dead 2, and I do truly hope you guys end up enjoying. Thank you guys so much for the support on today's video, and if you guys have enjoyed, please definitely drop a like to show your guys' support. If you guys would like to financially support the channel, I would definitely appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon, as always linked down below in all my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys could also use supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite Epic Games item shop because Epic is my very first sponsor and they're sponsoring today's video, so shout out to Epic Games. And yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video for the most unique YouTube you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you. And peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. 
And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom.